Welcome to the MBS Show Reviews. In this special podcast, I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and joining me today is Silver Quill. Podcast, the most important part of starting your morning. Yes, indeed. Uh, a perfect balance to one's diet, I think. That's right. Make sure to consume one podcast a day to keep the doctor away. Yay. <laughs> Especially if it's an anti vaccine <laughs> podcast. We don't do that here. No. Obviously, no. We don't. Oh, but if you do, side effects may include dying from stupidity. <laughs> hmm. Not sure how to respond to that. But also joining us today is Jacob. Hey, everyone. Who's been a long while? I hope we can go back into the saddle. <laughs> I'm sure. I <we> <laughs> uh, hope we can. <clears throat> also, anywho, in today's episode, we are going to review uh, My Little Pony Generation 5 Tell Your Tale Season 1, Episode 10 Sunny Days di- uh, Diners? This way is it? Yes. Diners. Yep. <clears throat> Uh, sunny day uh, dinners, dinners actually I think yeah. diners is only one in ah alright dinners uh, so in this episode Sunny makes an elaborate breakfast for her her and her friends to share one morning but her friends were too busy so later in the day she made a deal with her friends to hang out together and somehow they forgot but it's no problem because Easy was there and they had a lot of fun. But is it? Mm, I guess that's for you to find out. <laughs> so, but first impressions are in order. Silver, <laughs> what do you think? Uh, unfortunately, it, it, this falls under the forgettable line of episodes. There's not a <clears throat> excuse me. There's not a lot to. Stand out in the memory, and the conflict is eh, pretty pretty simple. This was at a time I think when uh, Make Your Mark was still going, so it was more keep the interest semi alive while we wait for the bigger uh, storytelling. Bigger. All right, all right. Uh, Jacob, what about you? Well, technically, this star, uh, this was still prior to when Maker Mark came out, since, uh, well, we're gonna eventually get to the first episode. But, yeah, not particularly a special episode, and the way uh, Sonny's friends are acting is a bit, uh, yeah. Mm, alright, alright. <laughs> um, as for me, yeah, you guys are right on the part where this is forgettable um uh, the, the the part that i remember is just that ah yes uh they want to meet up but they forgot then yeah this is one of those cases where life gets busy and you just have to plan and remember it and in a calendar or something like that and oh uh, man <laughs> sunny's friends are just uh, a special type of breed. <clears throat> so, anyway, if you guys have not watched this episode yet, pause here and go do so. Welcome back. So, um, usually I would go for beat for beat and go through the emotions, but I'm trying something new. I'm, I'm going to try going for the uh, different aspect of it. So, Start off, we get Sunny making breakfast for her friends, and that's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. But the scenario here is everybody's busy, and they went their own way. Um, Easy just came in, have a bunch of pancakes, and then went away. Um, uh, <clears throat> then we get uh, what uh. Hitch coming in and panicking about the raccoons being hostile with garden tools. Zip coming in and being busy. I mean, everybody's busy. And to be honest, the, the real question you here is, when was this even set up? 
Well, just now. They're saying, <laughs> um, hey, we're busy, and Izzy leaves huge amounts of drool on an existing stack of pancakes because, <laughs> hmm, that makes it appetizing. Thanks, Izzy. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, this just goes back to her little um, problem with understanding. Uh, what was it? Sharing. Personal Social space. cues. Yeah. Social cues, yeah. Yeah. But, but at the same time, too, like, I, I'm just guessing, Sunny, have you ever planned this out well? Like, did you did this on a Monday where everybody's busy with work? Never. Yeah, because if this was done on a Monday, I, I, I totally understand everybody's doing their own thing. If this was on a Saturday or Sunday where everybody's like, ah, we got our time to ourselves, let's, let's be a family. Then, yeah, that's more like it, right? Would you guys agree? I mean, as far as uh, huge and uh, well, people's concerned, since they got full time jobs, yeah, that's pretty much a style. But, but as far as uh, easy and zip, who, who literally do nothing, okay, no, I tell a lie, easy does something, but <laughs> yeah, I can't say the same about zip. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Zip is the only one who she just wants to be a detective. <laughs> well, we're not doesn't, there yet. Doesn't really ha need a job because she's got taxpayer money. <laughs> uh, but sorry, isn't Zip some kind of trainer for Pegasus? It was a one-time thing. It sure feels that way. She hasn't been back to doing that in a while. But other is it than possible? that, she just flies, flies about, and that's it. Is it possible that she hasn't been shown doing that? Well, anything's possible, but for all we know, they could have taken care of uh, that... Oh, who was the villain from that holiday special? Which oh, holiday I special? forgot. Which holiday special? Uh, the one where the one where they go up north and they face a villainess with the power of persuasion. Then the comics. Aurora? Was that her name? The cat, uh, the winged cat chick. Yes, I'm trying to recall. <coughs> what episode is that from? It was the very, very last of the Make Your Mark episodes. Mm. Ah, here we are. Let's see. This is Allura. Allura. Who's been out of the game. So for all we know, we could say she they defeated Allura off screen several episodes ago. That's why we haven't seen her since uh, Izzy's Blocky special. <laughs> okay. Man, I, I am so out of touch. I, I really need to... Be, be on top of this. I haven't watched season two yet, so yeah. Especially because of that, well, one character that we're not going to discuss right now, but that, well, it is what it is. <laughs> oh, but it's approaching. <laughs> oh, that's too far oh. away. <laughs> oh, no, you can hear it on the horizon. <laughs> oh, that character. No, I was referring to somebody else. <laughs> oh, oh. Well. There's more than one trouble? Oh, God. Of course there's always more than one trouble. Oh, yeah, but oh. in this case, it's not so much that uh, she's trouble in the, in the, well, in the series. It's more like in the comic where she debuts. Ah, all right. But, yeah, um, so... You, you guys agree with my theory that Sunny just made this on a Monday and expect everybody to sit down and join her for breakfast? Probably. Maybe. Unless kinda. they don't be unless they don't believe in weekends. <laughs> I'm sure there's weekends. We we see we saw that in G four. Ah, but this is after the downfall of society. Rules are thrown out. <laughs> so you're saying that in this new Equestria there's eight days in a week? Yes, there's eight days in a week, dogs and cats living together, black as the new white, 
Look out for zebra crossings. Wait, oh, there's no. a con- there's a concept of a week? How do we even know that's the case? Well, it's I actually... Mean... A... Sorry? It's not very strong. After all, it's a weak concept. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. <laughs> uh, I missed that. So, um, I- I'm just going to move along. Uh, Sunny's plan here to get everyone back together and become a family is to video call or maybe send a video message to the hmm. what 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 do you guys usually use for messaging uh for me locally here mostly people use whatsapp i'm not 100 percent sure what you guys use there so uh insert your preferred messaging app with friends uh here and send a message to the group saying Yo, guys, um, we should meet up and let's go for a hike in the woods. And everybody says, yay, let's do it. And then they don't. Yep. <laughs> I was about to... How's it? I was about to say, but Izzy came... <laughs> But she just like, hmm. I'm here because, yeah, yeah. I'm just here because I'm doing my own stuff. Uh, you're here too. Oh, um, yes. I remember stuff. <laughs> I forget. So, uh, so yeah. He, um, a follow up to the question is: Did Izzy just plan this the next day? Because. It feels like she did. That implies Izzy plans. I find her more improvisational. Sorry, uh, sorry my bad. Um, Sunny, did she plan this the next day saying, Oh, breakfast is no go. Let's go for a hike tomorrow. Which is in theory a Tuesday. Mm, I don't know. She's not exactly... Planning an equestria is usually same day stuff. Oh, God. Oh, God. So, to to be honest, I, I can't even blame her friends, man. Like, they, they all know... They all have work to do. They all are busy. Come on. and Except for as if that's questionable. Yeah, probably she's doing her own thing. I, I don't know. I, I don't dare say... That she's a free uh, freeloader, but the thing is, you you have to you you have to plan this in advance. If people forget that you're supposed to have a hike five hours later, I would even blame them. Well, either way, what kind, what kind of forest do these two go into? That, that that is true. Um, so, j- just just to uh, get not get things back on track, but just just to uh, feel people in context. Sunny went. Uh, Sunny went to the meeting spot. Nobody came, and she's a bit disappointed. Until Easy comes along, saying, "Yo, I'm you're here. What are you doing here? Oh, some kind of hike. Oh, the hike. Yes, now I remember." And Sunny being Sunny, uh, isn't it really pissed off at it? And yeah, she she has a hiking friend, so that's good for her. <coughs> and they went into the woods, going on a hike, where either going to the left is sunny days, or going to the right is doom and gloom. Let's go to doom and gloom. I mean, they didn't even look which side is which. They just, uh, well, they took a spin. Play roulette. <laughs> Play roulette. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're playing roulette with your lives. That's more exciting. <laughs> oh, God. But yeah, um, so they went into the woods and yeah, they got lost in it. So, Silver, uh, you, you're going to say, or you're going to ask what kind of woods they're in. And I have a I have a question. Um, the location that they're in, uh, it, it's not in, uh, what you call this, Old Equestria, right? 
Well, that, t- technically, it's all old Equestria. It's still Equestria, just time has moved on. Mm-hmm. No, but if you're well, suggesting this, this might be the Everfree Forest, it's not. Uh, no, yeah. it's, Everfree Forest is gone. You gotta let it go, man. No. Uh, I was you gotta let thinking it go. of. I mean, they're, uh, not, was... they're not, they're not like, even in the same location that the forest is supposed to be. Yeah. So this, I, is the, uh, this is now the semi retired forest. <laughs> I was more thinking of Whitetail Woods, but uh, no, then. Yeah, but. The, the geolocation of this place, could somebody explain to me where they are on the map compared to uh, G4 Equestria to G5 Equestria? My guess is well, from the west coast. Oh no, that explains a lot of things. <laughs> Let's see, G5 map, because the G5 map is not nearly so... Detailed. Uh, de- yeah. It's not, pretty much nothing compared to what we eventually got. It's got like four locations. That's about it. Uh. Well, not entirely. There is. They eventually had Sparky reveal another map, but. No, that was of the Dragon Isles. Fui. Hmm. The Isle of Scaly. <clears throat> In fact. Because. Gosh, do we have a proper... Yeah, everything... Actually, it looks like everything's happening on the east coast of Equestria. Wait, Maritime Bay is on the east coast? Well, according... Yeah, I'm looking at some screenshots. Isn't Maritime Bay on the west side? Actually, now that I think about it, do you remember back in the season 2 when we had that Celestia Luna story? Oh, no. M- maybe. Wasn't that in the same location if we... If I remember correctly. I might be misremembering it. Mm, I am it... unsure, because... Actually, now there's another <laughs> screenshot that would imply they're on the south of Equestria. Okay. Uh, I, I found something on EQD, but... The the map, the, the, what we're getting here is a bit confusing, because how 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 do I put this? It would be really nice to have a detailed map of Equestria, like how G four is. And to be honest, I really don't mind if they reuse G 4s mapping location and just blank out what they don't know. And this is for the G six uh, G five ponies if they don't know they don't put it down on the map like we do and it's us for as, as the audience we're excited for them to discover it but right now what we're seeing they could just be in maritime uh, <clears throat> what's the retirement place that Luna and Celestia went to after they got retired uh, uh, Silver Shoals yeah Silver Shoals yeah. They, they could be possibly in Silver Shoals and what I mean- 100 years 500 years past and then like, oh no, yeah, it, I, I think that's that's way too much, Norman. Because if I, uh, from what I've seen, I don't think even a hundred years has passed. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm so- Oh God. The, mm. Okay. The now I'm looking, I- sorry, now I'm looking at another map. Which implies that they are on the east coast. But the north is... The, the compass is angled. Aye, so, aye, aye. So, I'm like, that's not a good map. North is up. Not angled. I think ponies Maybe. forgot how to make maps. Uh, or somebody uh, tilted the world of its axis. Oh, that'd be all we need. I think that's how the fandom felt. Hmm. <laughs> huh. I-, I found something on <coughs> Derpy Baru. Yeah, Derpy Baru. That, that is fascinating because... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to save this picture and show it to you guys on Discord. Uh, let's see if I can find it. It, it just... I, I just see it... Uh, sorry. I just find it fascinating because... Um, 
we we nerd out for stuff like this because um we 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 were given a lot of info back in the days but now with what we have with um what you call this now we with what we have for um G5 it's a lot of wait what happened to this what happened to that this, isn't this the same universe as G4 but move a few years ahead oh no yes what oh, i'm so confused and the picture here i i like this person's theory it kind of works when everything's upside down yeah i mean uh, when you look at the map it makes sense like the hills are there the forest is there even the bay but the world is turned upside down so somebody did in fact steal the world of its axis <laughs> oh boy but yeah um <laughs> I, I, well, yeah, I, I, so let, let's just say that, hmm, yeah, the, the the map is, oh god, it's all over the place. But so it's not it's not the ever free forest. It's not white tail woods. So it could be a new location, I guess. It's its own thing, but it doesn't even do the same creepy eyes as ever free forest. Ever free was red eyes, staring yeah. at you. This just and looks like they just walk into the wrong neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. So, with them getting lost in the woods, which is not a good thing, um, we see Sunny's friend just doing their own thing and suddenly, oh no, we remembered we're supposed to go um, and meet Sunny in the woods for that hiking expedition. Oh no! Probably she's back home, which is not really a given here. So they went back home, hoping Sunny's there and apologize, but she's not there. And that part got me a bit. How to put this? Uh, that got me a bit pondering. Like, wait, what? Why are they not going to the meeting spot? And why are they at home? And it suddenly hit me, oh yeah, it's been a few hours now, so that means Sunny probably gave up and just went home. Except she can't. Mm -hmm. Because she's doomed. Doomed, I say. Get the flags. Oh, oh no. But here's my Please. thing. Mm. Hitch, for humor, they have Hitch hyperventilating into a bag. And... I just watched the uh, finished the series Shira from DreamWorks. Oh, yes. Wait, what? Uh, for, and, the, the new Shira? Yeah. Oh, okay. The new Shira. I'm behind the trend on that one. But yeah, boy. It always seems like it is this trope of the guy becomes the most hyst uh, hysteric and panic prone of the group. And is, and okay, I could accept that with like Bo. He's an easy young man, teenager. But Hitch is a is the sheriff. He should be used to or trained in search and rescue. Yeah, this I mean, he's too. he's got the equipment. I don't really like how they keep making him the freakout guy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I totally agree with you on that part. And to be honest, I don't understand why they put him in that situation. L like you mentioned, uh, <laughs> as a visual gag, yeah, it's funny. Ha ha. Uh, guy is panicking because friend is lost and is not home. Uh, he cares for the girl. So that's that's cool. But at the same time, too, like what you mentioned before, Silver, he's a professional. He is a sheriff. And if he's not doing his... <laughs> like you mentioned before, he is... He should be ready for all of this. He's a professional. And yet, no. Yeah, 
Well, either way, I think it's because in the movie, he was for a time the antagonistic force pursuing Sonny and Izzy. Uh, now they're trying to make him look non-threatening as a character. But as the sheriff, he should have a little bit of authority behind him. It's true. And at the same time, too, he can... St- <laughs> I, I don't know how the writers think of Hitch here, but I still think you can make him an interesting fellow while still keeping his um, straight as a pol- sheriff. And him being the, oh, I'm too uptight person, must do things by the book. He can be the Cyclops of the group, being the leader where everything needs to be by the book. And suddenly, you have, what, Easy being the Wolverine where, aha, we do things by way, bub. I can only imagine the claws sheet fashion. They're <laughs> all sporks. <laughs> yeah. But, no, nah, man, that, I, I still think that could work. Like, um, what? Let's say Zip wants to do something irresponsible and Hitch just says, uh uh uh, that's not good. You shouldn't do that. And Zip says, no, I do my own thing and does it and suddenly pays the price. So will she say, fuck you, I won't do what you told me? Fuck you, I won't do what you told me! <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. But yeah, I mean, it can work, but eh, probably not because this is a children's show and children's show must be placed with cotton candies and butterflies and stuff. But anywho, um... After all that, they they decide to go to the woods and find Izzy and Sunny in the most obs- absurd way possible, which is running around blindly without a plan. <laughs> Although, as a uh, as a video game, it's pretty dang funny. <laughs> Why? Oh, there's the GPS tracker of them which is all their panicky <laughs> faces running around this pretzel-shaped path mm-hmm. interspersed with cuts of them running past each other in the forest. <laughs> yep, yep. The music is what sells it. Uh, no Benny Hill, but still fun. So, yeah, after... I, I don't know, man. Like, What do you guys think? Like... I, I personally feel like with hmm, yeah I personally feel like the flyers could have just flown above and like see if way they are and whatnot. but could somebody please please devil advocate for this I think the canopy would be too thick for them to simply uh, fly up and be like oh there they are <laughs> alright I, I accept that I accept that um, what what about the part where oh maybe we can call them service in the middle of a forest? Haha, <laughs> that's the greatest fantasy of them all. <laughs> touche, touche. It's been done. <laughs> uh, don't you love D and D where can they where, where they can just use a sending spell and it works? Oh boy, but yeah, wait, um, wait, wait. wait. In D&D, mm-hmm. have they ever had to deal with the uh, call spell uh, management service? If you would like to send this, please deposit three gold coin. Mm, personally, for me, I haven't heard of that, but a sick DM would have done it. <laughs> oh, yes. I feel like a DM should put corporate marketing into... <laughs> Sending spells of communication. They can't let that thing go free. Sorry, folks. There's profit to be had. I mean, if the spell, if if it's a free spell, yet you need to pay three. No, three gold coins too much. A gold coin, that would have been yeah. Uh, I guess. <laughs> wow, you give me an idea, Silver. I might I might take that one. <laughs> would you like to upgrade to our family plan? 
It requires yeah. only one dragon tooth. <laughs> what you gonna do with a dragon tooth? You don't want to know. <laughs> Have a really badass letter opener? <laughs> Hello, Rudy. <But> yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. But yeah, um, they got lost and uh, they, they meet up in the most hilarious way where they bump into each other and yay. In the end, um, they managed to uh, meet up and do the things that they want to do, which is hang out and have fun and be a family. Um, I think in the end, they went camping. So that's fun. And yeah, and then episode ends. Yeah, and, and somehow uh, Easy got paid for rapping. Yay? Ho! Hey! Ho! Hey! Ho! Yeah. Actually, hold oh. on. I just remembered something. Let me just find it quick. Oh, here it is. <laughs> that, that's what was made uh, for that episode there. <laughs> because it is actually a reference. All right. So, yeah. Oh, boy. This episode here, hmm, it's pretty short. For, uh, most of Tell Your Tales is short, but somehow we managed to make it long. <laughs> well, I mean, that's uh, the intent. <laughs> that's true. That's true. So, anywho, um, final thoughts, I guess. Um, unless anybody wants to pitch in anything they want to share. Just glad yeah. he didn't try to rap. I'm here with my friend. Her coat is orange. Oh, dang it. <laughs> oh, no. Yep, yep. Um, but yeah, um, all in all, this episode was just a harmless episode where <coughs> Sunny just have poor planning with time management. She should have just really planned this really well. And in the end, um, the lesson here is, oh God, what is the lesson here? There isn't one. Uh, don't let your everyday things obscure you from uh, meeting up with your friends or being aware of your friends. Mm -hmm. All right. I, I, I can dig it. I can dig it. But Silver, you... <laughs> I, I know... This is, uh, I'm not sure if it's sure. Good. I, I think this is general enough. Uh, you, you mostly go out with your friends during the weekends and so on. But this is usually planned well ahead of time, right? Uh, but this is Equestria, where even in the previous generation, you had a royal wedding planned and executed in three days, <laughs> where a coronation takes place the same afternoon after it just happened. And... Uh, uh, what else? Massive town events all take place within five minutes. <laughs> time scale in Equestria is weird. At the same time, too, this is the future, right? For G5? I, I, I'm i more leaning in to say that this is a hundred years ahead, but Jacob scoffs saying that it's not even that far ahead. So I don't even know anymore. Ah, the more things change, the more they stay the same. Remember, Time Bridal Flat Woodstock. Sir. Bridal Time Woodstock Flat, only. <laughs> Bridal Woodstock only took place uh, within three days. Oh God! <laughs> As opposed yep, to how most. long? How long oh, did God. Woodstock take to just to plan? I don't know. A few hours. Five minutes. Yeah, five minutes and let's go. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, then. All right, then. So, I guess I gave my thoughts. Silver? Uh, it's a harmless episode with some funny moments, but it's also not a big character-defining piece for everybody, especially, well, aside from maybe doing a discourtesy to Hitch, Showing him panicking so bad. Hmm. But, but I, I wouldn't hold this up as ca characterization. 
But I think that's already a given with how the show is treating male characters, especially Hitch. We live in the sort of age where that's expected. Alrighty, but also following up on the question of how long did it take to plan Woodstock? Mm-hmm. <laughs> One fellow was hired to plan and build the stage and lighting. Ten weeks of work. Ten weeks uh, of work? Ten weeks. Okay. But much of his plans were scrapped when the promoters were not allowed to use the original location. Mm-hmm. So, but 10 weeks as opposed to what two to three days? Uh, I mean, 10 weeks is a lot of time. I mean, I, I guess that's good. Yes, no? Yes, you need time to plan, time to execute, time to go through practicalities. But my little pony exists in a different realm of time where. Everything is hyper-compressed. It feels like they're building the universe in the hyperbolic time chamber. If you tried to show them the show 24, it would take a year to get done. Or an afternoon. You Either say or. 20, you say 24, right? And I had high hopes for that show, and I love the concept where, ah, it's 24. So every show, sorry, every, so every episode is an hour. So there's going to be 24 episodes for this season. So yay, I was surely wrong. Oh, God damn it. Well, and, either way. Mm-hmm. And Jacob, what about you? Yeah, the it was an okay episode, though nothing to write home about. Anything else? I still stand by that Zips are literally doing nothing at the moment. <laughs> uh, all right, then. All right, then. Hmm. So, anyway, I guess that's the episode for this week. So, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The shows to take on is at the VS show. And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Silver, where can the good people find you? On Twitter, YouTube, and DeviantArt under MLP Silver Quill. You can also find me on my weekday puns panel. <laughs> and uh, every uh, night before a new episode, that's two every two weeks, I do the Pinkie Pie Says Goodnight. Also, I look forward to seeing people at Everfree Northwest. Ooh. That's fun. Yeah, yeah. When When is that happening? Oh, let's see. Everfree is at the end of August. Mm-hmm. That would be August 23rd through the 25th. Ooh, nice. Hope you guys had fun. And yes, J- we shall. And Jacob? Oof, uh, it's been so long, I haven't... <laughs> I should have forgotten a little bit about it. Uh, <laughs> you can find me on the DeviantArt under the username Yakafon Totka, and the Twitter username Tales of the Ashes. If you're inter- interested in reading the story Thermal Rising, you can find it on filmfiction.net. And if you're interested in reading an original story featuring anthropomorphic animals in a real fantasy setting called Tales of the Ashes, you can find it on the talesoftheashes.com. Yes, I still got it. Yay! Awesomeness. Go do so, and also please and also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay current, and links will be in the show notes. If you'd like to support the show, you can do so at Patreon.com/slash/NBSShow. With every support, you get a week's early <laughs> access to review and discussion podcasts, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Jacob, Lucky Knight, and also Master of Like. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. I am the Silver Quill. I'm Jakob. And we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of VS Show. See ya. Adios. Bye bye.
So, we got plans? Next week plans? Like, uh, five minute plans? Anything you want to do? Well, that totally depends on whether or not you're going to be around again, Norman. I would just like the world to stop for five minutes. Ah, uh, yeah. That'll be nice.